here we have the six pigeon breasts I actually dispatch these in the woods rather than bringing the whole pigeon back basically all you do find the center of the breast cut down with a knife peel it apart so you take the skin and the feathers off and then just run your knife down the edge of the breastplate and then you end up with chunks like this there's a few spots where the shot went in but I've checked those and there's no actual shot left in there taking all the shot out what you need to do is just when you, when you get home just check there's no fat on it, we don't want any fat do you find any fat? just take it off yes I know I'm using my Ponzi kitchen knife, I could be using my bushcraft knife it's just as sharp Because these are fresh, you sometimes have trouble cutting them. If you're having a problem with it, just pop them in the freezer and let them part freeze for about 15-20 minutes. That will make life easier for cutting. Into pieces that are about a quarter of an inch, five or six mil thick. Depending on the size of the pigeon you're actually shooting at, you may need to be able to slice this into three slices. But these are quite small birds. Oh, no shot there, that's good. Then all you do is you get yourself a Ziploc bag, pop the pigeon breast into the bag, any small bits I should just get rid of because they're just going to dry up to nothing. Now it's time for the marinade. Now what I'm going to use for this is some teriyaki sauce. Again I never go by measures so it's just a couple of teaspoons of teriyaki. Fish sauce just I find enhances the flavour. Maybe a teaspoon of that. dash of lemon juice. You can use a real lemon if you want but I find the juice works just as well. Now for the dry ingredients. I've got this um, Japanese black pepper. It's actually quite a spicy little number. So again about a teaspoon of that in there. Paprika give it that nice smoky sweet taste again about a teaspoon if you want to spice it up you can put chilli powder in as much or as little as you like and then I just actually like with pigeon a little bit of thyme so again I've got some dried thyme here a sprinkle of that and then because I really like a bit of sweetness in my meats I've got some soft brown sugar so again a teaspoon or so of that in there now I know we're going to be dehydrating this but it does make life easier if you just pop a little bit of cold water in not much, just a dribble Just helps everything marinate. Seal your bag up and then just mix it all in nicely. And then you 
take that, pop it in the fridge for 12 to 24 hours, and then your pigeon jerky is ready for the next stage. Okay, so the pigeon's been in the fridge 24 hours and marinating in the bag. It's now taken on all the flavours. So all I'm going to do now is pop it into the dehydrator. What you want to do is leave plenty of space between the meat to let the air circulate round. I'm going to set it to 70 degrees C and then do the timer for about four hours. Then I'll just come and have a quick check of it. And to see if it needs any more or not. If you haven't got a dehydrator, you can put it in the oven. Again, put it in the oven to about 70 C, about 140 Fahrenheit, and just leave the oven door cracked. If you do it on the grill rack, so the air can circulate you'll be able to have some nice jerky too so the dehydrator has just turned itself off on its automatic timer so we'll just get these out and have a quick look and see what they look like they're getting there but they're still a little bit soft so what I'm going to do is just swap the trays over just rotate them round these are a little bit dry but again they need a little bit more so I'm just going to pop them back in and give them another hour be back soon so another hour's passed in the dehydrator and let's see how the pigeon's looking excellent okay it looks like jerky it's still flexible but it's nice and dry now Yep, you can definitely taste the, um, the spices in there, or the underlying pigeon. So, give it a go guys. Jerky pigeon. Very good, very easy. Again, like I said, if you haven't got a dehydrator, do exactly the same thing in the oven. Just leave the oven door slightly jarred to get rid of the um, condensation moisture. See you all next time. Bye for now.